other folks. This is Jason, and we're looking at 59 historical facts that have been verified in the Gospel of John. If you want to do the scholarship on this and do the, your own research, then you can read uh, Craig L. Blomberg's The Historical Reliability of John's Gospel, where this information uh, has come from. And so I would encourage you to read the book and uh, it will be a blessing to you. It's um, a, a good commentary. I wouldn't say I agree with everything by Craig L. Blomberg, but I would say he is uh, an eminent scholar and will be a blessing to you. And I just want to share with you the 59 confirmed historical facts in the Gospel of John. Number one. There were water jars um, used in John chapter 2, verse 6. Archaeology has found uh, the water jars that uh, were mentioned in the same area as in John chapter 2, verse 6. The next issue is as Skepticism. There was a lot of asceticism in the early church. Historically, that means in John chapter 2 verse 8, the turning water into wine is um, an unlikely invention. Archaeology has confirmed Jacob's well in John chapter 4 verse 6. In Josephus, Wars of the Jews, chapter 2, verse 232, we see that there was um, the Samaritans and the Jews were not getting on. And this is confirmed in John chapter 4, verse 9. The word come down describes the way the geography of Western Galilee is described. There is a an elevation um, falling from Cana to Capernaum. So this is verified in John chapter 4, verse 46 and 49 and 51. The words went up describes what would happen if you were going to Jerusalem as it was an ascent. And that is in John chapter 5, verse 1. Archaeology has confirmed Beth Bethesda in John chapter 5, verse 2 excavations that were done from 1914 to 1938. Mm -hmm. um. In John chapter 531, um, the Lord says that his ministry is based on the testimony of the Father, and Blomberg and scholars would say that that's historically true in John 531, because uh, a later redactor would have taken out, wanting to confirm the divinity of Christ, would have wanted to... Um, make it uh, self-evident rather than actually say that it was from the Father. Um, I think that's more of a, a mute theological point. In John chapter 6.15 people wanting to make Jesus King shows uh, that is historically verifiable because we know that in first century Judaism there was a lot of nationalism uh, for Israel. In John 6.18, uh, sudden squales uh, happen very often in the Sea of Galilee. John chapter 6.53, 
the idea that Jesus commands that you with his blood and flesh is something that would not have been made up. John chapter 6 verse 66 the rejection of Jesus by his disciples is very unlikely something that they would have invented. John chapter 7 verse 12 The idea that in John chapter 7 verse 12, some said Jesus was a good man, some said he deceived the people. Uh, these things would not have been made up. Uh, they are genuine historical scenarios because later redactors would have kept those out and just said that Jesus was God. John chapter 7 verse 20. Um, that people said he was demon possessed is an unlikely invention. John eight forty eight. Some people said that Jesus was a some like a Samaritan is a slander that fits the historical situation of the animosity between Jews and Samaritans. Jewish people wanting to stone Jesus. Uh, is historically true because that's what would have happened in his day in John 8 31 and 59. Uh, the pool of Siloam has been